Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. If we haven't met before, I am a self-taught graphic designer and I am absolutely obsessed with making printables and planner stickers. So much so that I've done over 440 designs because I'm that obsessed with making stickers. So to make stickers, I use Silhouette Studio, which is a free software, and I make digital, so printable versions of the stickers, and then printed out ones are available from my sister's shop, which is Carefully Crafted by Jo. So she has the printed out versions if people want to purchase ones that they can just peel off straight off the sticker sheet and not have to cut themselves. Um, if you're obsessed with planners, she does have a lot of other planner supplies as well in her shop. I'll include the link below. So let's go through some of the basics on how to use the Silhouette software. So what do like the tools do? Um, just like a quick overview so you're not going, oh my god, like this software just looks so complicated to use. Let's run through some of the basics. So the first thing that I want to point out is that it is a large program. Like it is a big program that's going to use up a lot of like CPU or whatever the computer runs on that makes it go faster. It's going to slow it down if you have a lot of other things running at the same time. So if you use Photoshop like I do, shut that down so you've only got Silhouette open. If you've got like a computer game open, I recommend shutting that down as well. So you've just got the Silhouette program open. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is set up your design page. So for this one, I'm just using letter size paper, which is like the standard size. And then for your cutting mat, you would choose whether you're using the portrait or the Cameo. So the Cameo is the larger machine, it's more expensive, but you can cut up to 12 by 12 inches. With the portrait, it's just like your normal letter size piece of paper and it's a cheaper machine, it's way more compact too. Um, my sister and I both have the portrait and the Cameo. The Cameo is huge, the portrait is way more compact. So if you're not sure which machine to get, I'd go with the portrait just because it saves so much space. All right, so now we need to adjust it so that we've got our registration marks on. So registration marks is basically where you need to keep your design within to make sure nothing gets cut off when it's printed and cut out. So in this registration marks button here, go to style and you would turn it on to portrait or um, this one here, we always just use portrait and that will give you this layout here. And then you can see this is the boundary where you should not put anything beyond. So if you've got something hanging out here, it's going to get cut off and it's not going to print properly and the registration will probably also fail. So you want to keep it within these boundaries here. You can adjust your inset. So if you want it to expand out a bit more on the page, if you want to fit more on, you can expand out a bit more. Just don't go out too far, like you don't want it to go all the way out to here because that will get a bit tight. Probably go with about 0.4 is I think the settings that we use. I can't remember now. I set these up so long ago. Um, and then just set that up so that you've got it um, ready to design. Okay, so now if we want to start designing, there's a few different options that you can do. The most frequently used tools that I use and which you'll probably use if you're interested in making stickers is the rectangle tool, the rounded rectangle and a circle. So if you're using any of these, you can make a like an oval for this one or a perfect circle. You could do a rectangle or a square and then same with this one, a rectangle or a square. So if you wanted to do a rectangle, you would just left click and drag and then you can make your rectangle and you can resize it. So if you click on this button here, click on your shape and then go to the scale menu, you can type in the dimensions that you want it to be. So if you're making a sticker for a certain size, you can type that in here and have those exact dimensions. You don't have to worry about when you're drawing it, sitting here going, oh, do I want it to be 3.874, 3.8, like don't worry about that. Don't waste your time, just come over here and type in the exact dimensions that you want. So let's say we want it to be 1.5 by 1.9. Let's say you were making an Erin Condren sticker and you want it to be a uh, vertical life plan, a full box size, that's the size you would go with. Um, you'll notice when I was adding in the dimensions here, I unticked this lock aspect. Lock aspect will keep the same proportion, so if you adjust this one, it's going to adjust this one down here as well with the same proportion based on whatever you select, whichever one that you change. So if you want to keep, like you're making a square or a circle, you would keep that ticked if you want to keep the um, proportions keep the sizing. If you want to change it, then you would untick that and change your size there. So if you wanted to make a perfect circle or a square from the get-go without having to come and manually do that, you click on that shape, hold down shift, left click and drag, and it will make a perfect circle for you. Or you could do this with the uh, rectangle tool to make a square, etc. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to probably use a lot is the text tool. So if you click here on the text button, you can then left click and start typing your text let's say I wrote to do. At the moment, anything that is in red is your cut line. I show, like, like do a little screenshot of what we um, select for our colors. So each color in your design 
um, your line should be different colors. So if you don't want it to cut, I turn off the line. So you would click here and then go to your line color and hit this button here and it will turn your line color off. If you do want it to cut, so for example, I want this circle here to cut at this point, I don't turn the line off, I leave it as is. Now for everything that you're doing, a different line basically means a different thing. So if you've got a red line, that you can register it in your cut settings so that anything that you've got in a red line in that shade, it will cut. You can change it so that you've got like a black line if you just want an outline on your stickers but you don't want it to cut. And you can set all that up in the cut settings menu. I go through that in my e-course, which is how to make planner stickers. If you're interested, I'll include um, a link below. So you can set it up so that all different codes mean different things for your line colors. If you're making a sticker design or your text like we had here, I would recommend turning that off. And then you can go to your fill color and then click here and you can put whatever color that you like for your text. So you can choose from these preset colors that they have or you can go to advanced, click around here and choose a pretty shade from all of the different options. If you wanted to color match something specifically, so if you wanted to have a color that perfectly matched your branding colors, or you just know that there's this shade of purple that's your favorite, you can type that in here in the RGB code, or you can type it in here with the six digit hex code. As for finding colors, my favorite source is Design Seeds. They've got really nice colors. I'll include a link below to the website. So what they do is they take a picture and then they extract out colors. So they create really pretty color schemes for you. So you can bring that into your software and you can color match and use those colors as well. And then most sites with color um, inspiration where they pick out colors for you will also give you these codes. You can type them straight in. So let's say that you did download um, an image from Design Seeds that had colors that you want to color match. You can color match really easy using the software. Similar to Photoshop, they have this tool which I call the magic wand. I don't know what its official name is in Silhouette, but I call it the same thing. So I just call this the magic wand and you just left click and it will pick up that color for you. So if you wanted this to be white, you would click in the white area and it will make it white for you. So let's say that I had this as blue and I wanted this shape here to be that blue. You just left click and it will color it for you. So that tool is really good to use if you want to make a sticker kit and you've got a digital paper that has a pattern, then you can color match and make a really nice cohesive kit where you've got like icon stickers that are in the same colors as the pattern, etc. So there's lots of different ways that you can make your stickers and so many different ways you can experiment with color as well. Okay, so that's the text tool, the shape tool. You can also make lines if you left click and drag. I tend to not use the line tool because it's quite thin. I tend to just use the rectangle tool and then left click and drag and then I make my line that way with no line color and then a solid fill. I find it easier to change the thickness of the line when I use the rectangle tool rather than the line tool. If you want to zoom in and out, you can hit the magnifying glasses here or you can go view, zoom and then um, hit any of these percentages here. If you want to make something that is like you just prefer to use a grid, so I go through how to make a teardrop sticker in the e-course and for that we use the grid to line it up. So if you prefer to design this way, you can go view show grid. The other thing that you can do is rotate things. So if you click on a shape, you can go object, rotate and then flip it whatever way you want. You can even go on a 45 degree angle if you like. If you make a mistake where you want to undo something, just hit the undo button or go edit, undo, edit. You can also redo if you want to redo it again. If you want to make a copy of things, just right click and go duplicate and it will create a second copy of that shape. Exactly the same thing. So if you've made a sticker design and you don't have to recreate it from scratch, you literally just make the design once and then you can duplicate it um, as many times as you like, change out the colors and make sticker kits really quickly. So I go through how to do that in my e-course. I'll include that link below if you're interested. Um, so you can just right click duplicate. The other thing that you can do is right click copy and then right click paste. It'll do the same thing as well. If you wanted to relayer things so you had this as like an inner um, section and let's say you had this in white and you're making like a sticker like this and you decided actually I don't want it like that. I want to just get rid of that. You can literally just move it off. You just left click and drag to move things. Um, the other thing that you can do is change the transparency. So if you click on that layer here, let's say you wanted this to be a two color tone sticker with a blue background and then a light blue area where you can write on. You just go to the transparency menu and change that to say 20% and now you've got a really pretty light blue um, box here.
So if you want to align things to the center, let's say you were making like an icon sticker and you wanted the icon to be in the center, you just left click and drag, go to the align tool and hit center and it will move it to the middle for you. So if it was like this, then you can see that it automatically puts it in the middle for you. If you want to make it really easy to move things around, you will just left click and drag. So you've got those selected, right click and select group. Now you can move that around as one piece. They're not all going to move the separate layers. So if they're ungrouped, you would have to move that layer, then move this one, which is just a waste of time. You center it, group it, and then you can move it all in one go. So that is basically the basics of using the Silhouette program. There are a couple of other little extra um, tips and things which I have in the, well, a lot of them, <laughs> which I have in the course. Things like using patterns, if you want to do ombre, if you want to change line colors, if you want to um, resize things quickly. So once you make a design, you don't have to like recreate it from scratch. There is a way where you can just quickly change the size if you want to change it from like a little mini sticker to a big one or vice versa. Um, I go through some screenshots of what cut settings you could use to start out. Note that there is so many different types of label paper that you will need to experiment a bit with your cut settings. So I give you like a starting point of some cut settings you can try, but it will really depend on your label paper. So you will need to do some experimentation. Um, I'm not going to lie, it does take a couple of goes to get the correct kiss cut or the one that suits your liking. So you will need to experiment a bit with your blade, but I show you how to set those up. I go through some other things that you can do, um, some little tutorials on how to do different types of stickers. Like if you want to do routine tracking stickers, icons, habit tracking. Um, some lists, checklists, ombre lists, flags, um, teardrop stickers, so many different types of stickers that you can create. Most of the tutorials are not that long. I think the longest is only like 15 minutes and that one was kind of like a couple of tutorials in one where I showed a couple of different things in one go. Most of them are like probably seven minutes would be the average. So you can make it a sticker really quickly and then once you've watched that tutorial, you'll have your template made and you can just keep reusing that template. You don't have to go and back and rewatch the video unless you want to. Um, and recreate the, the sticker when you've made it once you can then just reuse it again and again and again So it makes making a lot of stickers in a short amount of time really easy to do So if you're interested in enrolling in the course, I'll include that link below um, That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you want more planner related tutorials I do a lot of things in photoshop as well and then like some planner reviews that sort of stuff pens love pens color coding So if you're interested in that sort of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to check out my blog and also the e-course as well. All the links will be below this video if you're interested in going and checking them out. Thanks for watching.